You've probably heard it before. Failing at something doesn't make you a failure. The problem is, it's still common for us to let a failed endeavor affect how we feel about ourselves. We think that because we've failed, we're less worthy of love. This can also prevent us from enjoying life. It's important to know that our reaction to failure is a choice. We need to choose to get our self-worth from who we are in Christ, not from having perfect performance. We've all failed at things, but those setbacks don't determine our worth. If you've lost your spark, ask yourself, is it because I feel bad about myself because of a failure I've experienced? If so, think of some of the major characters in the Bible. They failed, and yet God loved them and used them mightily. There was a time when David failed God, yet when he repented and turned his life around, he was referred to as a man after God's own heart. Paul had Christians killed for the first part of his career, but then did a complete 360 and went on to write most of the New Testament. And Peter denied Jesus three times, and just look at how God used him after he turned back. God's love for you doesn't stem from your behavior. Today's verse says that nothing can separate you from his love, and it means nothing. He loves you unconditionally, and he always will. You are of infinite worth to him. If you've enjoyed this devotional, consider partnering with this ministry to expand our reach. Check it out by visiting miraclechannel.ca.